Considering today's standards of raising animals, mm -hmm. of curing meats, I don't fully understand this as, as I think I should be the restriction that we have on pork. Sister. All right, I'll explain it to you. No, I'll do even better than that. I'll show you, but this is purely in the interest of science, you understand? Here we have the eastern mole and the brown rat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's my old friend, the aardvark. And here we have the bush pig, as it says, closely related to the domestic pig. Now, do you know why Mr. Muhammad teaches us not to eat from the pig? Well, the pig contains certain disease-causing organisms. Right. Right, you're exactly right. Now, that's the physical aspect. There's also the mental or psychological aspects, and there's the spiritual reasons why we're not supposed to eat at the pig. Look at the characteristics of a pig. He's sloppy, he's greedy. Greedy like a pig, isn't that what they say? They also say you are what you eat. So what we put into our mouths affects our minds and our heart. We don't want to take on these characteristics of sloppiness, of uncleanliness, of selfishness. Now, from a spiritual aspect or a spiritual standpoint, the Bible and the Quran teaches us that it is divinely forbidden for us to eat of any pig. In various chapters in the Bible and the Quran, it talks about this. So, so from a, a physical standpoint, from a mental or a psychological standpoint, from a spiritual standpoint, we don't want anything to do with this animal.